Alright everyone, welcome back to Generation Zero. I believe this is episode 8. Um, yeah, it should be. So, I saw a lighthouse, because when you spawn back in, if you don't have a safe house in this area, you spawn all the way back here, I think. Yeah, here. So I'm going to go over here. I did take a quick peek at it earlier. Don't quite remember what was there. So, yeah. I'm going to go the back way again, just because... So I am also, there is a lighthouse. See if you can see it right there. That I want to go to as well in this episode. But also, I also did fight a bit. Um, I have a tiny bit more experience, but not enough to show up on here. I still think that the experience bar you need to get is a little bit too high, especially early on. I don't know about later on, I don't know how much, how many points each item is used, is worth, but, one sec, oh wait, I think they might be on an island, which means that I can't actually access it, or it's, or it could be right here, I don't know. Now the biggest thing we need to do is find a safe house. We already looked at I think right here, this thing, which is something that we need to unlock. And I do have 20 lock picking sets, but the thing is, uh, oh, Bajor Farm. Look around in here. I did, as I said, look in here. I did clear out some enemies. Oh shit! Wrong thing. I'm stuck. Oh yay, rain! Fuck rain! Before we play anything, let's go to settings. Let's go to audio. Let's go to English. Oh, it's a collectible. Cool. 250 experience. I think that was a collectible well worth. Um, still not a big fan of the uh, lightning. Really fucking loud in the thunder. Yeah, it's really rather loud. I'm kind of soft and I'm just kind of tired. I didn't have a rough day at work, I just didn't have an extremely good day at work either. It was a very confusing day at work. This way earlier, so let's continue this way. Oh, 
I changed my gun name, although I put, uh, Full Metal Jacket rounds in this one. I think they're called Full Metal Jackets? Full Metal Jacket, yeah. Full Metal Jacket Round has a higher point damage against both the uh, components and the um, actual armor pieces itself. So here's the thing that we need to unlock. Bright ass motherfucker. And the thing is, I don't know if it needs a key or if we can unlock it with a skill. I don't know. If you guys remember, uh, I think it was right here, was the, no, right here, no. Somewhere in here, this area, was the uh, beacon, I think right here, was the beacon itself. Once again, I do not like these open fields. It's just too many places where people, things can see me. Although I know that the sight range of these uh, robots isn't too big. Sorry, I was looking at, ah, God. <laughs> there we go. I was looking at some of the aesthetics. I what, I think it's the Apex engine that they use. I think it's called the Apex engine. It's still a pretty good engine. up ahead. Oh. God, these jump boost boots. Fucking hell, they're amazing. Alright, so, uh, sorry this has been a pretty boring intro. Um, how's everybody's day been? Kind of shit at small talk, but I can try. That's it, yep. Okay. So now... Oh, shit. Silencer. Alright, let's continue on. Onward, noble steed. Am 
my noble steed, I mean my shitty ass lights. There's nothing to fight here, I'd be kinda sad. Well, I got 100 XP right off the bat. Again, guys, if I miss something, tell me in the, uh, in the, in the, uh, fuck, what they call it? Comment section. There we go. God damn. Because it's kind of difficult for me to be both thinking of things to say and paying attention to 100% of everything in this game, or any game, actually. Why I often do solo commentaries. And when I want to do solo conference, I'm oftentimes very, very quiet. Is because of that fact. Oh shit. Hi, girl. Can I move you? I have a friend. Well, fuck you, friend. Fuck you, chairs. And don't just like be like, oh my god, sorry, you missed the spot. I don't know what that voice was, but uh, put like a timestamp in it or something. Be like, yo, at 10 minutes and 25 seconds, you missed this, uh, you know, piece of loot. And be like, ah, oh, fuck, I did. What the hell is that way? Oh, uh, that was the exploded, uh, tank. From last episode that we saw. Or rather, I saw right now, because you guys have not seen that episode. Because I still haven't posted it. I think I've only posted four episodes on so far. Pretty sure. I'm gonna post a fifth one today, maybe sixth one today. The fact that oh look, nerdy's online. The news. The fact that there are no robots is actually a tiny bit more terrifying than the fact that the ow. I don't know, I just, I just kind of expected them to be immediately, immediately there. You take him out, and you loot, but this whole looting thing first? So, it's a bit creepy. Oh, found one. There we go. Ooh, a shotgun. I think you get the full thing out of this. I'm gonna have to drop my shotgun, so remove attachments. Ball cage. I'm gonna drop this. Drop item. Inventory's not full, you can't. Or, yeah, you're a shotgun. Alright, because you need. The e inventory full. All right, bring that back down. Sorry. Shotgun back. Okay, let me load it up with the correct bullets. First shot, okay.
All right. No, no, no. no. Oh, did not want to take that much damage. Hey, you should uh, you should be a safe house. Nothing in here? Ah, hell, this is enough. There we go. Wait, I actually think about it. Um, five. A ham in bed. I would need a health because my dumbass jumped out of a fucking window. There it is. I'm gonna fire a test run in the air. Nothing. Interesting. Eh. No. Who a tractor? Ooh, a bus thingy. A truck. Again, still unnerved by the fact that uh, there are no robots around. Not quite sure if I like that. I mean, part of me does, because I'm not getting shot at constantly, but the other part of me is like, grace period. In most video games, grace periods are bad periods. Well, not quite bad, but you know, y'all know what I mean. Boss fight. Shit's about to get fucked. Explosive gas tank. Dave. Ah. I say don't stop, don't stop, don't stop. Talking to me, don't stop. Giving me things. Yeah, I see that, uh. Those health packs that are just hanging out here. Ooh, a new gun. What can I drop? Oh, I have to drop one of my weapons. You know, I don't know how I feel about this. Give it to me. Give it to me. Crap. Alright. Try to bite him.
Um. never say no to a new weapon. That's a big fucking place uh, right there. Maybe it has a uh, safe house. Cattle. What is it, love? Vestland Command Bunker. Found it, boys. Uh, there's a thing you need right here. What does this mean? Map. Map. Uh, legend. Payback mission. Ooh. I get to blow things up. I know we're gonna blow shit up. Hear something. Oh.
Okay. Okay, so that's it for those. Um, I feel like if I take that fall, that'll kill me. Again, there's a pip, and then my screen goes weird. I hear it. I don't want it to see me, though. Oh, there it is. Fuck, 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 fuck. I need you to die before you learn my presence. Shit, 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 it's happening. Go away before you find me. Escape the combat. nearly a full clip of shotgun into you. Definitely a full clip of my rifle into you. Motherfucker just didn't die. Not the big one. Alright guys, this is where I'm going to call it quits for this episode. Um, when we get back to the next episode, we're going to start infiltrating this place. See you guys later.